It's Sunday, February 7th, 2016. This is a chart for the ASX200. Um, I don't put these ones up that often, but I did do one a few weeks ago. Um, talking about this break of this 49.55,000 level is extremely bearish. Um, and I think the price action since then has really only confirmed that the bearish nature of that move. Um, you know, I was think I was sort of proposing this potential for a repeat of this move. Um, that's a long way off yet. But um, if you look in, we look in a bit closer, um, you know, this is very little, the very pathetic bounce, I guess, on the ASX 200. Um, no, they, it hasn't been able to break above that, that level again. You can see there it's, it's acted as um, support. And once it's broken through, it's come back, you know, a bit of a false break here above it as well. Um, you know, I think, I think down, down is the next move. Um, you know, I, previously I talked about this potential for something like 46.50, um, which is the low around this uh, 2013 level. Um, you know, so I think that is a tremendous poten potential for it to, to break down lower again. Um, you know, US market looks pretty pretty weak as well. Um, and a lot of the banking stocks um, around the world are also starting to get uh, really punished. Um, you know, I think what saved the ASX 200 this week was probably the rally in, in resources. Um, you know, I think BHP and Rio are up something like above 10% on, on Thursday and Friday. So that's, that's saved it a bit here. But I think the, um, the banking stocks around the world are really starting to get punished. And with the Australian um, exposure to banking stocks, I think the ASX 200 really has some potential for further downside um, in the next few weeks. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the, uh, what the upside is going to be, whether it's more, uh, central bank intervention that, um, somehow spills over into the Australian share market, but it looks, it looks pretty bearish at the moment. Um, and from long-term, from a long-term investor point of view, um, uh, if you're just investing in the index, I think, I think you want to be out of it at this point. Um, I don't, I don't really see the, um, any potential for a lot of upside in the next, um, couple of months. Um, so I think you do. You're best to stay out of it if you're if that's your if you're just a you know buy and hold investor. I think you gotta you gotta sell um, and just and stay out of it for a while.